my friends, and welcome to the latest spin. I'm Mike Spinner, student athlete world USA, coming at you on a very happy Monday. Um, unless, of course, you're a fan of the New York Rangers. Oh, what is happening, Rangers fans? I've been a Rangers fan God, for 38 years now. And it's almost like, here we go again. They just lost to the Carolina Hurricanes 4-1 to at the Garden. Um, they were up 3 nothing in the series. It looked like it was going to be a quick sweep. And now it's a 3-2 series with Carolina really outplaying the Rangers in a big way. Like, it's scary. Like, the Rangers have never blown a 3 nothing lead in the series before in their history, but it certainly feels like they're about to. Um, I love my team. Of all the sports and all my favorite teams, the Rangers are my favorite team. But you just get this feeling of doom. Like Carolina is going to dominate, you know, game game six in Carolina. Going to set up a game seven over the weekend at Madison Square Garden. I just don't feel good right now. There's nothing to indicate that this Rangers team um, is going to overcome this. And they're up 3-2 in the series. They need to win one more game. I just don't know where it's coming from. So, Tim, uh, feel pretty good right now, man. Might be a celebration down in Raleigh. I'm just glad I'm not there right now. But uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, on to business first. Welcome to our nearest, newest travelers, uh, Charlie Shuck Jr., men's basketball, Colson Evans, men's basketball, and Margaret Lorms, women's lacrosse. So excited to have you for the summer of 2024. Speaking of the summer 2024 travel season, we had a very special announcement today. Um, I got, I personally got a big shout out from Tim on our social media. Um, we have officially hit 300 travelers for the summer travel season the second best year in the history of our amazing company. Um, just an amazing accomplishment. It's it's not easy. I got to tell you, um, it, it's not an easy thing. We have an easy product for people to want, but it's never easy. Um, and, and so what I want to say on a personal note to our 300 travelers packing their bags and getting ready to go, I am so appreciative to every one of you. And I know I speak on behalf of Tim when I say this. We are so thankful to have 300 amazing travelers. It's not just the athletes, it's the families, the family friends who are coming, the grandparents, um, everyone who's coming. We're so excited for the summer of 2024. Um, it's going to be one of the biggest years. We had the second biggest year in the history of our company. Um, hopefully the sign of things to come, of course. But, um, you know, I love my job and I say it all the time. It's funny, I have friends who work in HR we're always telling me, don't say on your videos how much you're on your social media, how much you love your job, because, you know, you always want to protect yourself. But I'm going to shout it out. I love my job. Um, I really love this company. I love the direction we're heading in. I love working for you, Tim. And I love our families and our travelers. Um, it's I have the best job where during our busiest season, I'll spend a whole day talking to people I've never met before and getting to know them, making their dreams come true. And to have one of the biggest years in the history of our company um, is such an honor and it's such a pleasure. Um, and it really is a privilege to, to have this position. So to all of you who are traveling with us this summer, thank you for choosing Student Athlete World. Thank you for making this a, a historically great year. Um, and I gotta tell you, everything we've told you this summer is gonna be, it's gonna be, and then some. And I'm just really blessed to be in this position. So thank you everyone. And to the 400 of you who are coming with us in the summer of 2025. Um, I can't wait to meet you. Um, so hopefully you're watching this video. And uh, yeah, let's keep this rolling. Big plans coming up. We're, we're launching Student Athlete World Canada in earnest for next year. Um, I'm a big part of that project. We have a, a fifth basketball tour we're doing. Um, we're just going to keep the, keep, keep the freight train moving forward. And that 300 is soon going to be a very small number for one year. Um, I guarantee it. Well, we're not. What in the world? What in the world this week is brought to you by Palmini. Don't know what Palmini is. So as I said last week, um, I, I've lost now 41 pounds and counting. Um, and I've embraced as much as I can that low carb lifestyle. Um, I hate it, <laughs> but I love my bread and my carbs. I haven't completely cut it all out, but I'm the type that I'm grabbing a snack. It's going to be something loaded with carbs. And now I'm not doing it, but I've discovered this product, Palmini. Palmini is a company that makes um, pasta products using hearts of palm. Hearts of palm, I believe, are a vegetable. 
which in and of themselves are disgusting. Like, I don't like how they taste. I tried it. But they now make them in pasta form in a very neutral flavor. And hearts of palm can absorb other flavors. So I bought the palmini linguini, <clears throat> which in a, you know, in a plain way does not taste good. But I mixed it with some sauce, some, some low-carb sauce. Put a little red pepper in there, a little salt and pepper as well, a little garlic, a little basil. It tastes like a plate of linguine. Honestly, I, I didn't notice too much of a difference. So I think with like a good meat sauce, it's going to be really good. Today I bought palmini lasagna noodles. I love lasagna and I love to cook, as I mentioned before. Um, and I can't wait to see how that goes with lasagna. If I can make my lasagna taste legitimately, I think I've officially been able to move to low-carb Italian food. As I continue on his diet journey, I'm aiming for another 60 pounds. Going to hit that solid 100. Um, we'll see if I get there. And I will get there, but we'll see how long it takes. But um, Palmini, welcome aboard as a sponsor. I'm a fan of your product, and, and I hope your, your lasagna noodles are as good as, as they seem to be, or I hope they are. So what in the world? We go to the University of Iowa, where we um, bid adieu to Lisa Blunder, the head women's basketball coach at the University of Iowa who has retired and, and historic career, more than 800 wins um, at a, several different stops. She is the all-time winningest women's basketball coach in Big Ten history. And of course, she was the coach of Caitlin Clark, who has taken over the women's basketball universe. I made this point once here and I made it on my social media and I've gotten a little bit of blowback for it. Caitlin Clark has departed from the University of Iowa. Now, is the University of Iowa going to go winless now that Caitlin Clark is gone? The answer is no. They're in the Big Ten, um, which is a lot of good basketball programs, except, except Wisconsin, of course. Um, <laughs> they're, but, you know, they'll always be competitive. They're in a basketball-rich territory. The Midwest has great basketball, except Wisconsin. And uh, But here's something I've said, and I'm going to keep saying it. With NIL, with big media markets being able to produce more NIL money, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, the unknown or the lower known areas are going to struggle, just how it is. I'm going to make the prediction that the University of Iowa women's basketball, which has been to the last two NCAA championship games, you're never going to be the same again. Ne never. Caitlin Clark is gone. That buzz is gone. I just don't see top girls basketball players wanting to go to the University of Iowa when better options are out there. And, you know, the University of Iowa had its chance. I don't know if they win a national championship if it really changes anything, but they had that Caitlin Clark window, which is now closed. Again, doesn't mean they're going to be non-competitive. I doubt it. But do I expect the University of Iowa to remain a basketball powerhouse without Caitlin Clark and without Lisa Blunder? The answer is no. I think they had their chance. I think it's over. I'm not saying I hope so. I have nothing against them. Um, I live in Connecticut, so of course we root for UConn here. But um, even though I'm not really a UConn fan, I, I can't really say that, but it's true. But anyway, what in the world? Lisa Blunder, congratulations on a great career and you know, she gave us a lot of excitement for women's basketball the last couple of years, thanks in large part to Caitlin Clark. And Iowa, you got to step it up now. We'll see what happens. That's it for the latest spin. As always, how do I get involved? How do I do the coolest thing I've ever done? Go to studentathleteworld.com, complete your free application, and schedule an interview with me. Pack your bags. See you next week. Let's go, Rangers. Although I have a feeling by next week, the news won't be so good. Have a great week, everybody.